Hi everyone, welcome to my channel and welcome back. I'm Jeannie and I've been wanting to try the jelly sandwich design for quite a while now and I have to say I had so much fun creating this look. So I used some jelly gel polishes and I sandwiched some nail art stamping in between my layers to create that more dimensional look. But of course I made it Valentine's Day style and would you believe that these are press-ons? So stick around and let's create some press-ons together. Jumping right into it, I went ahead and removed everything from my left hand. So these are my natural nails. I went ahead and prepped them so they are ready for press-ons. We just need to size out my tips. So for the tips, I'm going to be using my iGel Beauty Medium Square Tips. I don't size out my press-ons any differently than if I were just to apply the full coverage tips directly to my nails. So I'm going to continue on with sizing and I do have this nail stand. So that's going to hold my tips so I can go ahead and decorate them. So when I'm sizing out my tips, I want to make sure that they're fitting my nail from sidewall to sidewall. So this is the zero in the medium square tips. You can see that it's really quite large and way too big for my nail. So I kind of wanted to show you for reference what a zero looked like on me. So I'm going to continue to size out, make sure that it's fitting my nail properly. I'd rather have it a little too big than a little too small. So I may do a little filing down if I need to. Some of the cuticle lines are a little too square. So I may round them out with a little bit of filing but the at the core you just want to make sure that it's fitting your nail from sidewall to sidewall properly After I have my tips all sized out, I'm going to go ahead and attach them to my nail stand as well as do any adjustments that are needed. Now for attaching to the nail stands, I do use these sticky tabs that you use to temporarily apply your press-ons to your nails. I just cut them in half and apply them to the nail stand. And so I just double checked my thumb. It's got the right fit for me, but there is that little notch at the end. So I'm just taking my nail file and just crisping up the edge, removing that notch. But you'll see for like my index finger, the cuticle area is a little too square for me. So I want to round that out to get a better fit. But you want to be really careful because it's super easy to over file the tips because they're easy to file. So I just do a little bit at a time. So I'm going to round out one end, one side, and then I will start out to round off the other side. So I'll just do both sides a little at a time. I'll check the fit. I'll make a little more adjustments as needed. And then once I'm happy with that, I'll do the same at the free edge of filing off that notch and then applying it to my stand. I don't wear press-ons often, but I like them to look as natural as possible, which is why I do this work up front to make sure I've got the right fit. And what I'm doing here is as you file the tip, the shavings of like the plastic kind of stick to the nail and you don't really want that excess. So I'm just trying to remove it just because it's not going to look as clean if I leave that on and it also may get dust in my gel.
sped that last part up a bit, but I was just really focused on finishing adjusting any shaping to my tips to make sure that they fit my nail perfectly, as well as I went ahead and buffed the surface of the nails, and that way the gel polish would adhere to the tips because I don't want the surface to be too smooth. It needs something to grip onto. And so now that I finished all that, I wanna go ahead and make sure I'm dusting off the excess dust because I definitely don't want dust particles in my gel polish when I apply it. So now we're ready to go ahead and start doing the press on. So I will be using my eye gel beauty gels. So before I do this, I like to put on gloves just to protect my hands from getting any gels on them because obviously I'll be applying the gels to the tips and not to my fingers. You don't have to do this. It's just an extra precaution I like to take to avoid any extra gel exposure to avoid gel allergies. In case you're curious, I am using my Eye Gel Beauty Hybrid Pro 2.0 lamp to cure my gels. This is a UV LED hybrid lamp, and I believe it is 48 watts, and it does a really great job curing. So it is a professional version, though, so I will say it does beep when you put your hand in and take it out. So if that's something that annoys you, this probably isn't the lamp for you. Prior to this, I had my hybrid light from iGel Beauty. So it was L-I-T-E, the light version, and that one doesn't beep. So that may be one that you prefer, something just to keep in mind. So anyway, going back to the press-ons, I'm starting with a layer of gel base on all the tips first. So whether I'm doing a gel polish mani on my actual nails or whether I'm doing that with press-ons, I always start with a layer of gel base first. The gel base not only is a great adhesion layer, so your gel polish will stick to your nails or tips or whatever it may be, it also helps get a smoother, even coverage of your first layer of gel polish. So I always recommend you start with gel base. And also, before I get too far in this video, I should mention a huge thank you to iGel Beauty for sponsoring this video. I am an ambassador for iGel Beauty, so I do have a code with them. It is an affiliate code, so if you do use the code, I will make a small commission. But if you are shopping at iGel Beauty, you can always use my code purplicious15 to save 15% 15 off your orders. I cured my gel base for 30 seconds, so now I'm ready to get into my colors. So the colors that I'm gonna be using for this Manny is gonna kind of be like a Skittles Manny. So it's gonna be five different colors for all my different fingers. And these are from the iGel Beauty Jelly Gel line. And if you haven't seen these, you need to check them out. They are such beautiful colors. I love jelly colors. I think they're so fun. I don't wear them often though because I kind of get self-conscious about that visible nail line, but this was definitely fun to do and I feel like I should wear jellies more. So what I'm doing here is I'm just trying to figure out the order of the colors that I want to wear because I don't want two colors next to each other that are too similar. I kind of want to make it a little more colorful, make sure that the colors pair well together. So I'm just trying to pick out my order. And then once I've got my order, then I will get into the Manny because I'm going to do this in a specific order so I don't paint the wrong color on the wrong nail. So the first color I'm going to be starting off is going to be on my thumb. This is JG13. This is Rosé Red. And as you can see, what I mean by a jelly color is it's very sheer. It's not an opaque color. It's got that jelly quality to it. And this is such a beautiful wine jelly color. It's I can't even begin to describe how much I love this one. So I'm gonna do one full coat of this on my thumb, and then I'm gonna move on and do one coat of the other colors on the other fingers. So I'm not gonna go, I'm not gonna cure yet. I'm gonna wait till I'm done with all five fingers, and then I will cure for 30 seconds. <laughs>
I cured my first layer of gel for 30 seconds, so now we're gonna get into stamping some hearts over that first layer. So I've got this random stamping plate. I may have gotten it off of Amazon or something like that. There's not really a name to it, so I'm not really sure where it's from, but I'm going to use my iGel Beauty nail lacquer for stamping. So this is the color baby powder, and I've seen a lot of posts in the Facebook group about I only use gels, what do I do with my nail lacquer, and you know, a lot may donate them to retirement homes, things like that. But I will say, and actually I should caveat that not all lacquers will work. However, it does work with baby powder. So there are some major differences between actual nail stamping polish and nail lacquer. Some will work, some won't. So nail stamping polish is more quicker drying as well as it's more opaque. So you get that really crisp color. Whereas with a nail lacquer, like the baby powder that I'm using, it's a little bit slower drying and it's not as opaque. So you can see it's not like a bright white. It's more subtle than that. But I think for this jelly polish look, it's kind of better that it works out this way. So if you do nail art stamping, save your lacquers and try them. They may work on your stamping. Not all will. They have to be opaque enough, but it's worth a shot because if you can get them to work, it you know at least then your lacquers don't go to waste. So I'm just going to randomly place a few hearts on the nail. I don't want to go too crazy and cover the whole nail because I'll do a second layer over my second layer of polish. So I don't want the nail to look too busy, but I'm just going to place a few here and there. And I'm using some of the closed hearts and some of the open hearts just so I have like a mixture of the pattern. And I'm going to do this for all five nails. I'm only going to show you the thumb because it gets a little bit repetitive because that was a lot of stamping to do. But I kind of wanted to show you my process for what, I, what I'm doing. So you can see here, here's how it looks with the stamping on all five nails. So once the stamping polish is completely dry, so I'd say it took maybe a couple minutes at most. It wasn't a really long time. I'm gonna go ahead and go in with my second layer of gel polish. So whatever the same color of the first layer was, I'm going over with the second layer on top of my stamping just to sandwich in the stamping polish. And sorry, I keep calling it stamping polish out of habit, but I actually mean lacquer, it's nail polish. I'm not using stamping polish. I'm just using the regular nail lacquer that comes in the duos. I cured my second layer of gel polish for 30 seconds, so here's how it's looking. So now we're gonna get into our second layer of stamping. So this is gonna be the same process as my first layer. So I'm going to use baby powder again to stamp my image. I will stamp it, apply it to the nail, and I'm going to randomly place it on the nail. I don't want it completely overlapping my first design. It's okay if I have like a corner overlap just for a little dimension, but I don't want it covering up my first layer design. So I'm just gonna randomly place it in some blank spots, have a little cover up, but it's gonna create that kind of dimension. And I'm only gonna show you my thumb again because I don't want you sitting through me doing all five nails of stamping because we would be here a long time. Invincible.
So here's how all the nails are looking after that second layer of stamping polish. And I debated for a while whether I wanted to apply another layer of jelly polish just to mute it out a bit or just top coat it as is. I think either way would look really good. I decided to mute it out and apply one final layer of jelly gel polish. But what you do is up to you. You'd be completely fine if you just went ahead and top coated and wanted that white to show a little bit more. I just decided I wanted a little bit more color. And of course, you could always do as many layers as you want. You just want to be careful because you don't want your press-ons to be too thick, which is why I wanted to stop here. So I'm going to apply one final layer of color on top. I'm going to cure that for 30 seconds, and then I definitely want to top coat it. Another 30 second cure. So here's how the nails are looking. So now we want to get into top coat. So I will be using gel top coat. This is my no cleanse top coat from iGel Beauty. It is super shiny and beautiful. So I'm going to go ahead and apply a thin even layer of top coat to all the nails. You could also try a matte top coat. I bet that would be really pretty too against the jelly. I may have to try that sometime. I will also mention, actually, I forgot to mention all along that I leave the tacky layer on the polish. So at no point did I wipe off the tacky layer. The tacky layer actually works in my favor for the stamping because sometimes if the polish dries too quickly on you, it won't transfer to your nail. So it needs that tacky layer. So it helps the stamping adhere better to your nail. So I'm gonna go ahead and apply this No Cleanse Gel Top Coat. I will flip my nail stand upside down just to ha help the top coat level a little bit. And then I'm gonna cure it for a full 60 seconds. Invincible. So here are the finished press-ons and I mean how freaking adorable are these jelly sandwich hearts. I absolutely love the way it turned out. So I went ahead and applied them off camera. So I just used my dip base as my glue to adhere them to my nails. I just applied a little bit of dip base to my nail and then a little bit to the underside of the tip and then applied them that way. Super fast drying, super easy. So I hope you enjoyed this video. I hope you found it helpful. And if you did, I'd appreciate it if you gave this video a thumbs up. It lets me know to continue creating content like this. And it also helps YouTube recommend me to others, which helps grow my channel. If you haven't already, please consider subscribing. I upload content every Monday and Thursday at 9.30 a.m. Eastern Standard Time. As always, I appreciate you being here. Thank you so much for watching. And I will see you in the next one. Bye. Thank you.